All right, for the next few videos, we'll talk about isomers. Isomers are molecules that are different from each other, but have the same molecular formula. We can classify these isomers by asking ourselves a few questions, as outlined in this flowchart. So to start off, we can ask if our isomers have the same bond connections. And if they do not, then they are constitutional isomers. A good example of this would be um, cyclobutane and butene. They have the same chemical formula, but they have different bond connections. Now, if they have the same bond connections, they're classified into a broad category called stereoisomers. And from here, we can ask, are there rotations about a single bond that are what's causing the isomer? And if so, those are conformers. If not, then they're configurational isomers, which we can further break down into two different forms. The configurational isomers get broken down into whether it's a mirror image or not of the isomer. If it is, then those are called enantiomers of each other. You may have heard that these molecules are also called chiral. They have a chirality to them. That is, they will have a left and a right left and a right hand uh, to them. They will rotate light in one direction or the other if they're pure. Diastereomers do not have a mirror image of each other. And a very good example of these would be a cis and trans isomer around a double bond. Since we cannot have a rotation around those double bonds, those are unique molecules. They have different properties, but they are not mere images of each other. So they're a diastereomer. So in the next few videos, we will talk about the different kinds of isomers and unpack them a bit. We'll also go over how to visualize these isomers and be able to keep track of um, the configurations or the conformations, all of those different um, situations so that we can understand isomerism that much better. So thank you for watching this introduction to the isomerism playlist, and we'll see you in the next video.